Hello, cool ass, it's Pablo here, and welcome back to Barcelona Universal. Barcelona take on Atletico Madrid in a title deciding clash at the top of La Liga. And we all know, guys, this is the fixture that we have been looking at for quite some time now. It really is all or nothing for Barcelona. We've got four massive fixtures remaining in La Liga. And even then, guys, say we win them all, we still rely on Real Madrid to at least draw one game. But for Atletico tomorrow, they know that a victory would inch them ever so close to the title they did look to have secured just a few months ago. But without any further ado, guys, let's get into this huge match preview ahead of a massive game, Barcelona versus Atletico at the top of La Liga. And this one will be coming to us live from the Camp Nou, so Barcelona will have their chance there to make the stand in their own temple and this one will be a Saturday afternoon kickoff guys 4 15 p.m local time and elsewhere this weekend guys we cannot forget it's another big one it really is a deciding weekend in La Liga it's uh, Real Madrid versus Sevilla there that's on Sunday evening that's going to be huge and you get the feeling whoever tops the league by the end of this match week may well just go on to win the whole thing. And with that in mind, guys, here is how the table looks coming to this one. If Barcelona are to get a win tomorrow, we would temporarily go top of the league uh, for the rest of Saturday and the rest of Sunday until Real Madrid play their game. A draw really suits neither of us. You know, if we get a draw, then we'd go up by one point. Atletico would go up by one point. That would still, again, give Real Madrid the chance to sweep in there and go top on head-to-head. -to -head. They have head-to-head -head on both us and Atleti, but a loss for Barcelona tomorrow and a win for Atletico would put Atleti in a really good position. That would put them five points ahead of us and it really, guys, would put us out of the title race. So let's begin with ourselves then in Barcelona ahead of this monumental clash in La Liga. And well, guys, look, we know this is it for our season, really. We fluffed our chance against Granada. I think we still feel that, that defeat there. It really is a bit of a dagger in our hearts. It hurt. It has put us in a poor position, really, to now steal this title. We're relying on Real Madrid. We have to win each and every one of our fixtures. And after we made such an incredible comeback this whole season to get in this position, we do no longer rely on ourselves. But this game right here, guys, is a chance for us. This one is the one that everybody's been looking at for quite some time. And really, it should decide the title race one way or another, whether that's a draw, a win for Barca, a win for Atletico. You get the feeling this could be it in terms of you know giving the full outcome as to how La Liga is going to end but you know what in this title race never say never guys and I think the big feeling for us Barcelona fans coming into tomorrow's clash is just hope I don't think the expectations are very high coming into this one I do think that defeat like I said to Granada it did hurt us guys it really hurt us but now we're entering this fixture guys we're just waiting for our team to make a big stand a big statement in La Liga we played Real Madrid twice we lost both those games. We played Atletico back at the Wanda in November. We lost that game. This is it, guys. This is where all of the questions have come against Ronald Koeman from losing big games, dropping points in important moments. It is time to prove them wrong, guys. We have to show our faces here. The performance has to be of a super high level. And we've essentially got to be perfect here as we need victory against one of the toughest teams in Europe in an absolutely crucial moment in the La Liga title race. And I think a big factor towards tomorrow's result will, of course, be the team selection. We do recognise now that Koeman has to get this one absolutely spot on and in terms of team selection guys I actually think he's going to go exactly the same as he did against Valencia to Stegen in goal I think Araujo is going to start a right centre back ahead of Mingueza what do you guys think about that I think that is a bit harsh to Mingueza the way you know he's played so many games this season at such a high level in his first season for Barcelona and all of a sudden now as we've got four games left we're just putting them on the sidelines. You know, I understand what it is. It's for the physicality, the height, and of course, the pace of Araujo. But I mean, we will be having Piquet and Longley next to him. So, you know, they're still pretty so players there in terms of, you know, keeping up with some of Atleti's attackers. But either way, guys, I do expect Araujo to start. At right wing back, I think it's going to be Dest. You know, Dest ahead of Roberto. That's what we're all hoping for, of course. Will it happen? We're not sure. We've heard some news midweek that Dest perhaps has some issues with a little niggly injury or whatnot. But I think he is going to get the start tomorrow. Busquets, De Jong, Pedri, of course, will be in the midfield, Jordi Alaba left wing back, and then you've got Messi and Griezmann up front. I don't think Dembele is going to get a start. Uh, Braithwaite is fit now, by the way, guys, so he's back in the squad. But just looking at the keys in this lineup, guys, and where the game can be won or lost. I think, look, you look at the defence there, guys, Piquet, Longley, Araujo. Like I said, I think Araujo will play over Mingueza. But we've got, to, we've got to see those guys be perfect, basically. Piquet, we need a big performance from him in a big game, of course. He'll be watching Suarez up front. Longley is going to have some quick players running at him, so he's got to really position himself well for this one. And then Araujo, we could really use him in this sort of fixture. He's got to be immense, like he was really back in December and January. We need those sorts of performances from him. Dest, you know, of course, his pace has got to be key he's likely going to be up against Carrasco so he's really got to be on it for tomorrow's game and then I think you look further forward to midfield or where we can get our goals from for me De Jong could be absolutely key in this game if you want to be breaking down Atletico's stubborn defense you need runners from deep and I think De Jong can give that for us we give him the service 
Alban Messi are usually very good at that. Perhaps even Busquets too. Then De Jong could be absolutely key. And of course, Atletico's old man, guys, Antoine Griezmann. He's been racking up goals for us this season. He has 19 for us so far. So can he get his 20th tomorrow in a big game in La Liga? That would be some story. And now then, guys, let's move on to our opposition here in Atletico Madrid. Of course, the league leaders, Simeone, stubborn Atletico. They did look set to win La Liga, didn't they, just not so long ago. But it all unraveled, really, in 2021. And they now find themselves absolutely fighting for the league. And you look at some of their past weekends there, guys. They've had some, some bad results, some good results. But they've really suffered in these fixtures. And they perhaps come into the final four games, not even as favourites for La Liga. But... It is still all in their hands. If they win their final four games, they will be champions. And they come to the to the Camp Nou tomorrow, guys, full of belief. They'll be full of belief. They'll be full of desire. And I think they will know, guys, if they win tomorrow, despite everything that's happened this season, that could be that for them. Because I think if you cast your minds back, guys, you know, you saw the way Atletico started the season. And even into De December, January, they just looked invincible. They were winning so many games, scoring so many goals. But... The goals started to dry up, the injuries came in, they lost their rhythm, they lost some key players, the draw started to creep in, and ever so slowly, guys, they've dropped a lot of points. And in 2021, guys, you know, February, March, April, they really have dropped a lot and a lot of points. And on the contrary, Barcelona, Real Madrid, they've won so many, so the gap has really uh, tightened there, and now we've got ourselves, as we've all known for the past weekends, an amazing title race. But all of that, guys, is in the past now. Here we are, guys, ahead of this big clash. And I think from a Barcelona point of view, let's take a look, guys, at some of the key men to look out for in tomorrow's game for Atletico because look I've picked up three here but before we go any further we recognize that Atletico are an absolute unit they have got you know the amazing keeper in our black in goal the defense that will likely line up in a back three back five like us is very strong of course they've got some big characters in there they've got the captain Coque and really guys they will be working again as a unit to try and hold out Barcelona and keep a clean sheet tomorrow but the first man that I do individually want to point out is Marcos Llorente. We always come into Barcelona games, we always look at the opposition and say, who can cause us damage? Well, Llorente can. 12 goals, 10 assists this season in La Liga. Surely, guys, going to the Euros with Luis Enrique, and perhaps even with the starting role, the guy is an absolute machine. And as I said, we always look for quick and pacey players. He's a powerful runner. He's good with the ball, too. He's going to be a big danger for tomorrow's game, especially if he's down the right-hand side, where the likes of Longley will be positioned. You know, we've got to make sure we have a, a close watch on him, and players like Pedri could be key uh, for keeping him under lock and key. On the other side, guys, at left wing back, we will have Carrasco. Uh, he, has, of course, scored in the reverse fix whenever I watch uh, Atletico. Carrasco causes big issues down the left-hand side, so watch out for him, guys. Uh, just last weekend, he set up Llorente for the goal against Elche that ultimately won them that game. So he really is a big, big player for them. And he, of course, will be coming up against Dest at right wing back. So that's a big chance for Dest to prove himself. Perhaps he's not the strongest defensively, but he will hopefully have the pace, the determination that we've seen in some games from Dest to hold out Carrasco. And then, of course, guys, let's end it with the final man, our former gunman, Luis Suarez. We all know, guys, give him an inch and he will score. We know Suarez very well. He really has helped Atletico rack up goals this season in La Liga. And, well, Piqué in particular, who will be watching him, he'll know full well we've got to be so, so careful around Luis. You know, he can cause absolute chaos in the penalty area, and we've got to be so close to him, make sure he doesn't get any space, and try and isolate him from this fix, because that's when he can get frustrated. That's when he can become, you know, we've seen it over our past years, you know, if Suarez isn't having a good game, then we certainly do suffer. So for Barcelona, we've got to make sure we watch out for their key men. Of course, they've got others. You know, Correa has been on great form of late. You've got Lamar. Trippier's good at whipping balls into the box, like I said, Coca earlier. And of course, you know, their stubborn defence is going to be key. So with that in mind, guys, I think this is how Atletico could line up for tomorrow's game. I've already mentioned a few of these guys, but I think it will be all black in goal. Savic, Jimenez and Hermoso are across the back three. If Jimenez is injured, I think Felipe will, of course, come in. Right wing back Trippier. Left wing back Carrasco, I believe Lodi is going to be injured and won't be starting this one. Perhaps even won't be on the bench. In midfield, I think it will be Koke, of course, next to Llorente and Lemar. Those two have quite a free role. They can go up and down. They've both got good engines. To be fair, Kondogbia has been starting and playing well in recent weeks, so let's see what Simeone goes for. Maybe he goes a bit more conservative and puts Kondogbia in instead of Lemar. But Atletico need to win this game, and let's see if they learn their lessons from the past and play Thomas Lemar perhaps for this one. And then up front, guys, I think it will be Suarez and Correa. As I mentioned there, in Suarez's ab absence, actually, he had a, a three or four week injury not long ago. Correa has been the one scoring next to Udente. So I think Correa will start. And of course, Suarez will be there on his return to the Camp Nou, where we are hearing there will be a tribute in his honor. And of course, guys, let's move on now then to match predictions. This is what you guys have gone for. Interestingly, in quite confident mood, maybe that victory against Valencia made you guys feel, you know what? Yeah, we can win this league. We've shown our fight there. We've come out in a gritty away game and we got a big three points, a 3-2 away victory. You guys, quite confident. I'm going to go for Barcelona 2, 
Atletico Madrid 1. I think it'll be that sort of game. I can't see us not conceding, but at the same time, 2-1 in a big title clash. Let's hope we can get that. And that is where I will bring this match preview to an end, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. As always, leave any of your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be back, of course, after tomorrow's game for the match review of this massive, massive clash. You know, this will essentially tell us our fate after this one, won't it, in La Liga. So let's see, guys, what the outcome is. Until then, enjoy yourselves, enjoy the game, and goodbye.